Alright guys, today I did a video about the cladding of the place. It got a little bit since the last video. Also I'm going to run over some other things that people subscribe to me, like my friends and family. And I think there's a couple of people who don't actually know me that watch the videos, but mostly friends and family. Well, I'm going to sort of repeat myself a bit because this video is for me to put on some of the tiny house forums explain what's going on so we'll go round to the front of the house because all the windows are on apart from the back window they're all on this one side so there'll be double doors in here and then there'll be a window here and a window there they've got to be cut out I just uh, framed it in to get it up and I'll cut them out after. The windows are come down here. I've got this little reclaimed stained glass window here that I'll make the bathroom window out of. Just a little bathroom window there. And I got a couple of double glazed panels to make the other windows. I'll make them in the same way as I made them on the Luton van with the gothic arches at the top. I'll have the same style windows inserted into the doors that I'm making as well. Um, the cladding, you can kind of see where it's going, but uh, it's nowhere near finished. All of this, if you're a new viewer, is just pallet wood. It's lightweight pallets you can pick up from anywhere. I've just smashed them apart with a hatchet, cut them to length, and ship lapped them up. Like so, so they cost me nothing, which is good because to get clad in for all of this would be a couple of grand. Um, it's not quite finished, however. Like obviously, I've still got to work way around. But there's lots of details and things to go on. So this has all been dipped in Bird Brand Eco Soap. Mm -hmm. This stuff. So every piece has been dipped into that before it's been screwed up. But I haven't sanded anything, not bothered sanding anything, because I'm going to blowtorch the whole thing. Obviously, I'll have a, a water sprayer with me <laughs> as I do it. But as I blowtorch it, it will take off any of this kind of furring that will just burn off, at least to the point I care about. Darken the wood a bit more, bring out the grain. And once it's been burned and cleaned off, um, a friend of mine's got a sprayer and it will get sprayed with another coat of eco soap. So it'll be a really dark, dark, dark black brown when it's finished. Um, up the top here, is that in shot? That's in shot, yeah. Up the top here, where the gutters will run, the fascia boards. I'm going to bring them down to about there and they're going to have the gothic arches all the way along so if you look at it every one of those columns will have a gothic arch at the top and then there'll be a bit of skirting board upside down at the bottom of the gothic arches and at the bottom of each column so they'll wrap the skirt will wrap around to give it the detailing so trailer it's not exactly a um, purpose-built tiny house trailer it had a strange life I think at some point it was a car transporter and uh, then at the end of its life it had its big Amco axles removed and um, it had some little light ones put on because it was used to move sort of balls you know those big inflatable things you roll down walls on around hills on, it moved them about, so it didn't need strong big heavy axles and it needed to be as light as possible, so they put little wheels on it. And then after that was done, I bought the whole trailer for £100. Um, it was quite rusty when I got it, I cleaned it all up and um, covered it in hammerite. And obviously at some point 
I will be upgrading the axles. Um, I won't be reinstating the brake Damco axles because I am in the UK. I am. Um, you have to, if you have your license before 1998, then you can drive and tow or tow anything up to 7.5 tons. So you you can have a Range Rover with a massive huge trailer on the back. Um, but if you took your license after 1998, you have to do separate tests and things like that. So it's not going. I don't need it to be towable because I can't tow it anyway. Even if I had the license, I don't want to own a Range Rover just for the day I want to move my house. It's just a waste of money. And if I'm owning a V8, I want it in like a tiny car to go fast, not to just burn fuel for nothing. So yeah, that's it. Uh, that's where this is going, where the windows are going. Um, and just for the people who don't know if this is the first time I've seen any of my videos, because like I say, I'm posting this on the tiny house community, so I'll show you the layout that will be. So, the, uh, it's 2.4 wide inside, 2,400 millimetres. And I did that so that I could just use the lengths, well, the max width you're allowed is eight foot six. So how does that translate? Uh, 2,400 is just shy of eight foot. I know that from, because I have to rip 400 mil off American plyboards. Uh, 40 mil off American plyboards, should I say, to make them 2,000 by 2,400, like all the European stuff. Um, so it's that wide, and it saves me doing cuts. Bum, 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 straight down. And every time you've got the clad in, and the guttering, I should be just within eight foot six. I should be about eight foot four at the white width of the gutters. So if somebody down the line who bought it off me, if I ever sold it, wanted to tow it, they could. And it's max length for the UK as well. It's 20 feet long. Uh, so the bedroom was 2.4 by, I think, 2.1, if I remember right. But it's long enough to fit a king size bed here in this corner. There's a king size bed go, a lift up with storage in it, and the corner next to the bed will be a wardrobe. I'll probably pick up some nice vintage thing, I won't make that from scratch. And then the window will be there. And you go through the door into the lounge, double doors up there, and the L shaped sofa go around here covering that wheel arch. This wheel arch will be a step log burner in the corner here that will be uh, I'll build like a kind of um, kind of chimney chimney breast to contain the log burner with fire surround and everything I'm gonna put a mirror above the top because you can buy the mirror glass now that you put in front of your TV and when the TV's off it just looks like a mirror which I think will be nice to hide everything and uh, then I'm gonna build my JBLs and things into the ceiling and into the sofa so I don't want to see any of the tech at all these that I've put in lamp, the lamped up um, Tongan groove that is because in this section from the bedroom wall to this truss here in the kitchen I'm going to leave open full height so that I can have Edison bulb chandelier coming down and these I'm going to cut out to more gothic arches, of course, more gothic arches. You can never have too many gothic arches. And I'll I'll route on some designs and uh, sand them up. And then as you come in through the kitchen, so you come past the log burner, there'll be a Belfast sink there with a window to see out. And the cooker will be there with a worktop that can be moved out and used as a drop leaf table so you can eat at it and things. And then finally, into the uh, wet room, the shower will be there. That little stained glass window, which I showed you, will be here. There'll be a small um, sink wash basin there, with a little tiny log burner, which I have down there. I'll show you in a minute. Stuffed next to that, next to the sink, tiny little log burner with some granite on the top, so you can um, put water on it and have a sauna in here. I'm going to make sure it's properly. Uh, double skin DP seed with an extractor fan and you've got the little window and there'll be a good seal on the door so you can just splash some water on it and have a sauna in your wet room and then at the other end there'll be a toilet here and I'll have a little sort of fold down wooden 
seat in the shower area that you can sit on while saunering or the toilet will obviously be blocked in um, covered over with timber so that will just be like a timber seat as well but you can lift up to use as a toilet so uh, me and the missus could sit either end and have a little sauna though saunas are more her thing um, so that's the basic layout and where we're going with it um, how much will it cost me well I think I'm about probably just about a grand now in timber and screws hundreds of screws and stuff but I estimate with it all sellotext and I use a lot I'm gonna keep using a lot of reclaimed timber being a being a builder just it just comes to you like oh that going in the skip now I'll have that for the time so it's hard for me to cost because I don't know what I'm gonna buy and what I'm gonna find but it's definitely gonna come on in way under six thousand pound and that's including all the TVs, the dimmer switches, the fancy lighting, um, a Victron inverter. I already have my battery bank and solars from the uh, van build, which if you're interested, you can go back down the channel and you can see I've got all the van build. Um, but yeah, that's it guys. Like I say, this video is kind of for the tiny house community sites. Um, I'm going to post it around there. Want to follow the process? I'm going to be cracking on. I don't know how quick it will go because I'm doing it on weekends, days off, etc. So I'm going to say that arbitrary date on. Oh, I want to be here by Christmas. I won't be, but you know, I'm just going to work as fast as I can. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching.